Hello, I'm Andrew Fidel Fernando. I'm here with Russell Arnold. Uh, the day after Sri Lanka recorded their historic victory over South Africa in uh, in Port Elizabeth, uh, Russell two nil series win, uh, something that no Asian team has uh, achieved before in in 21 attempts. Um, has it has it sunk in yet? Uh, what this Sri Lanka team has has been able to achieve? It's um, really hard to believe, though. But uh, now, uh, now that they've done it, you think about how they've done it. Uh, I think it's an even greater achievement to what I was feeling uh, uh, straight after the game. Uh, it is extraordinary. Uh, we also have to consider what was going on with the team, where they were at, um, in every sense, uh, as individual players, as a team. Uh, as the whole unit and then Sri Lanka cricket itself. So um, for them to come out here and beat a very, very good team in conditions um, that we haven't conquered really in, in the past, not only we but a lot of other teams, only Australia and England have uh, won series here um, in South Africa. It's, it's a tremendous achievement. Well, winning one's fine. But then to be able to back it up and keep the opposition down once again, but they will hit back strong. These guys were given no chance. So um, really, really well done. And uh, the boys can be very proud of themselves because when things are going well, it's sometimes easy. You're in the groove, things fall in place. But when they're not going around, uh, going your way, how do you turn it around? Resilience, that's when a lot of character is needed. And I don't think this uh, Sri Lankan team had much help uh, from anywhere around. So, uh, uh, yeah, it, it is an incredible feat. We talked about uh, Kusal Pereira and, uh, and, the, and the innings that he played there and the, the big performances from the first match. Uh, in this game, what were the key uh, performances for you? Uh, the seamers. The seamers were brilliant right through. Uh, they bowled a lot better than what they did in Kingsmead in terms of the areas uh, that they kept operating. The consistency was better. They were looking for swing. They were understanding exactly what to do. And they were able to do that for longer periods. If not, we find them only one spell bowlers. One or two. Suranga Lakmal over a period of time has shown that uh, he's picked up on... Uh, uh, becoming a better international bowler, but even the younger guys, uh, Kasun Rajita as well, uh, was uh, pretty impressive. South Africa found it difficult to score. They were not scoring freely. So those are all uh, uh, big plus factors uh, uh, to our attack. Uh, if you compare the South African attack and our attack down in pace, um, experience and skill, you will say, but uh, uh, the guys were f well above uh, what was expected of them. So. Um, bowling South Africa out in that first innings but the big impact was the second innings behind by 68 the, the the confidence would have been down they would have been down in the dumps in how they would have been feeling losing those six wickets um, in a short period of time uh, in the first innings and to fight back fight back and chip away uh, get those wickets that was um, really really crucial and I also like what Dananjay De Silva gave Ambuldinia was not there now we all felt the pitch was turning and Ambuldinia will play a, a big part but I, I remember Dananjay De Silva telling me in the morning uh, no I, I I got a role to play here and didn't he bowl well how, how good was that now that's what we really want to see so uh, well done uh, someone uh, who's, who really impressed through the series and from a bowling perspective, Vishwa Fernando, uh, first left armour really that Sri Lanka have had since Chamin Devas, uh, going back a long time, well, China get, well, get the results there, but uh, a, a very uh, promising young left, uh, left armour. Uh, what, what did you see from him this series? Do you think he's someone who, uh, who shows uh, you know, that he can be persevered with and, and, and stuck by? He should be. Uh, he's, he gets late swing, which is very crucial in defeating batsmen, and uh, uh, he gets it through. He, uh, time and time again, he gets it uh, up to that 140 mark, uh, runs in all day long. So those are good traits to, uh, to have. And now that you mention left armers, after was it was Vela Gedra who um, created problems here for the South Africans in Sri Lanka's only other win. So you think about it, having a left arm of the quality of Vishwa Fernando and giving him the confidence to improve will actually complement our attack. Let's say a Suranga Lakmal. Um, we have a Lahiru Kumara, for instance, coming back and bowling in the 140s and then here comes the different angle. That is the complete attack. So yeah, uh, I, I'd be surprised if you leave him out. He should be given all the confidence and continuity. Uh, and uh, the two 
players who sealed the game was uh, Kusal Mendes and Urshada Fernando batting at you know 4.6 runs and over uh, in the morning on day three. Um, how good was that partnership? 163 runs, bigger than anything that we've seen in the in the series so far. Brilliant. It just was brilliant because they were solid. They were sound. It was a perfect innings from both of them. They left well. That was the real key for me. Uh, in the first innings or in Kingsmead, the good length deliveries, our batsmen were getting caught on the crease and nicking through. But these guys were forward uh, or, or right back if it was um, in their zone. They played their shots. Now, you mentioned the run rate. They didn't try. They were just being their normal selves. Sri Lankans are associated with flair. Yes, they like to score runs quickly, but this was getting the bowlers to bowl to them. And that happens when you start leaving the ball well. Bowlers will adjust their lines and lengths. And if you look at a wagon wheel of that um, uh, partnership too, down the wheel, we rarely see that. That tells you how well they played. The intent they showed, the, the solidity they showed early uh, in that innings, really blunted the South African attack. A, a very good attack made to look pretty ordinary, I must say, as um, time wore on in that first session. So uh, it was a perfect partnership which can be replicated. Kusal Pereira's innings cannot be. That's a once-in-a-lifetime uh, special type of knock. It'll be great if you can do it again, but you can't plan for that. But these type of innings is what you plan for. So the other batsmen also to pick up on the importance of picking that length, knowing where your off stump is. And believe it or not, or, or you can trust on the fact that the bowlers will adjust their lengths and bowl into your zone. So you don't need to go looking for it. That was the biggest difference and how easily they did it. Uh, finally, uh, we you know we mentioned at the start of the series that uh, Dimut Karanathan is a, a stand-in captain. Uh, it'll be a bit hard. Do you think it'll be a little bit hard to uh, to take the captaincy off him after a, a triumph like this? I thought he led the team well, um, e even um, when uh, things were not going well. There were a lot of periods in this Test series where uh, we were behind. Uh, he kept the spirits up in the in the uh, team. I saw him smiling around, uh, joking around with the others, just keeping them bubbly. Uh, how he rotated his bowlers, um, proactive with the fields. If I want to be critical, in the first three innings of this series against Decock, uh, I thought we were too defensive. But if you notice in the fourth innings where Decock failed, he had those slips in place. There were a couple of fielders out, but there were fielders in catching positions, which made Decock do something different. So those type of things I think he'll pick up as he goes on and Sean Pollock I think um, said it in a, or put it in a nice way when I told him that the uh, team list came up and here it was stand in captain. Well now they can change it to out in front which means outstanding captain. So I think uh, uh, that's something uh, that we can really look at. Russell Arnold, thanks very much. Cheers.